Hey everybody, welcome to the 50th anniversary of ISEC in Australia. My name is Martin Bean and I am the Vice Chancellor of the Open University here in the United Kingdom. And I got my career started in the 80s by being local committee president at Monash University. I went on to become national committee president, uh, the first full-time national committee president based in Sydney, and then was really fortunate enough to go on to be elected as president of ISEC International, where I held that post uh, for over a year in, in Brussels. For me, sort of, I'll, I'll never forget what it was like running a nationwide careers expo in our, in our year when I was on the National Committee and you know the day that the Premier and the Prime Minister showed up to tour that and all of the, the risk and opportunity that that presented and uh, the conflicts that needed to be managed through but you know the sheer drive and satisfaction of having pulled off something remarkable. You know if I look at ISEC's impact in the world uh, I think it has endured, but it's different. So, you know, the impact that we had with the exchange program in the 80s, sort of in that pre-internet, pre-digital world, pre-social networking, was really a, an agent of exchange. I mean, it was one of the few mechanisms that an Australian student would have to be able to connect and, and have that opportunity for a work placement around the world. And there's so many different ways that that can happen now. We're, we're a much more connected society than we were back in the 80s. And, and that's why I think it was important that as ISEC evolved through the 90s and into the new century, that it did start adopting different ways of going about having impact, whether that's sort of the ISEC model of leadership, whether that's the project-based work uh, that, that got going uh, through, the, through the 90s, where we started to focus on some of the big national and, and global challenges. So to all of you at ISEC Australia on your 50th anniversary, those that are the current custodians of ISEC in Australia and those that will follow you. Uh, the only advice I've got to give you is stay true to what made ISEC great in the beginning and has kept us strong ever since. Make sure that there's that deep commitment to help students no matter where they live, to have that international global experience to develop their leadership and that doesn't always mean having to take a uh, an internship. Sometimes it can mean just simply being part of that experience at a, at a local level. Uh, and make sure, make sure you don't lose sight of the fact that what has always made ISEC strong is its vibrancy at an institutional level. I believe ISEC was built on strong local committees. I believe that we've got to continue to invest and grow vibrant, prosperous, effective local chapters of the association because it's out of those experiences that we get the leadership of ISEC, but it's also where we can impact the most students around the world and that's why we were set up.